Hey y'all, Coach Bradley coming at you, and it's always a good day when we got some new baseball equipment to review, and today we're going to get after the Tanner T. Let's get in. So first things first, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see how many pieces come with it. We open it up. Got our nice little instructions there, which is pretty self-explanatory. Next, we've got this tube. And inside that tube is going to be housing our steel stem along with this hand rolled flex top ball holder. And last but not least, we've got this nice heavy duty composite base. So putting this thing together is super simple. Basically just got two pieces here. As you can see, you got that steel stem right there. You got your base right here. And you're just gonna screw that thing in until it gets nice and tight and you're ready to start hitting. Now the Tanner T is going to be adjustable anywhere from 26 all the way up to 43 inches tall and you adjust it in two different spots. You've got this adjustment down here in the uh, steel shaft and then you've got an additional adjustment right up here. So as a guy who coaches a ton of baseball and also plays a lot of slow pitch softball, we're going to go ahead and test this thing out with both. One thing I can already tell that I really like about this tee is the fact that you can adjust it and it stays where you adjust it. So, you know, you can put it there, you can put the ball in there, it's not going to move around. For example, on this rubber tee over here, you see I actually had to tape that up because we needed to create some more friction so the thing wouldn't just fall down as soon as you put a ball on it. Let's go ahead and swing a few more with the softball. So there's really only two issues that I have with traditional rubber baseball tees. Number one is when your height adjustment won't stay put and it keeps dropping down due to lack of friction. And number two, the top of these rubber parts just keep getting broke off, making it uneven. And then it gets difficult to get your ball to balance on there. You spend more time just trying to get it to balance and you're actually getting hitting practice in. It looks like both those issues should be solved using a Tanner tee. I like this uh, hand rolled flex ball top holder. And what I really like is you got yourself about six inches of just flexible rubber, all right, before it hits this composite part right here. So, you know, if you're taking hacks responsibly, you miss a ball three or four inches, you're gonna be okay without hitting that. Now, if you're a real young kid, uh, you know, and you don't have that much ball control when you're swinging off tees, the traditional rubber one still might be a good one for you just because this rubber part's gonna take a little bit more than this kind of plastic composite piece right here. Another thing I think is special about the Tanner T is how you can make just quick little adjustments, whether you're working on low pitches, high pitches, inside or outside pitches. You can pick the base up and move it forward, back, left or right. And then it's just easy to adjust your height and the ball's gonna stay there. And the last couple things I'm really impressed with this T so far is the fact that it's got really like a small footprint, doesn't take up a lot of room in your storage area. Plus the fact that you can just unscrew it if you need to store it somewhere. And uh, this is pretty heavy duty composite. I love this steel um, stem right here. And then on top of all that, they got the Tanner guarantee, which basically is a one year warranty. And you know, this thing's manufactured right here in the USA based out of Florida. So to close this thing out, there's a reason that the Tanner T has been number one when it comes to hitting aids and baseball tees for the last several years, man. This thing is durable, it's heavy duty, it's got a small footprint, it's made here in the USA, and it's got a heck of a warranty to go with it. It's for those reasons that it gets a Coach Bradley thumbs up. I'm going to hit a few more balls. You go out there and get you one.